If your iPhone is currently running slow, today I'm gonna to give you some tips on how you can speed this up. And a lot of them are around your cache, cache in your phone, inside of different apps. And if you're curious or just need to know what a cache is, a cache is what helps our our phones or our computers run a little bit faster. See, what happens is we go to a website and we need to download that website entirely for the first time. What a cache is, is it's kind of saving some of those components so the next time that you go to that website or that app, that little piece is already saved on your device, which helps speed up your, your phone, right? So if you have too many of those little pieces saved in your cache, it could start to slow your phone down, which is what we don't want. So we're gonna walk through a few ways that we can help clear this cache and let's jump into it now. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually check how much data or system data we have kind of stored in this phone. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the settings here. And from settings, we're gonna select general. And then here we're going to select iPhone storage. So you can see how much storage I have on this phone currently. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom. These are all the apps that I've been using lately. And we're going to select system data. So my current size is 1.5 gigabytes. Yours could be higher. It could be lower. Um, but this is just a starting point, right? So we'll take a look at that. Do, do, do. System data includes caches, logs, and other resources currently in use by the system. So a lot of that is probably within some of these apps. So before we look at clearing the cache, I actually want to offload some of these apps to help free up some space. And what this is gonna do is inherently speed up our phone. So to do that within the settings, again, we're gonna go to general and we are going to find the iPhone storage. And then we're just gonna scroll through here and we're gonna look for things that we are not currently using. So let's look at Booksy. I can offload this app, offload. Uh, so that's one thing we can do, right? So we're gonna offload these apps, the ones that we're not currently using. So most people on their iPhones are using Safari. So let's actually look at Safari and how to clear the cache there. So we're gonna go, we're gonna again, open the settings and scroll down and find Safari right here. Now from the Safari page, what we're gonna do is scroll down to the bottom and select advanced. And at the very top, we should have an option for website data. Let this load. All right, so here is my cache within Safari, right? So I can remove all website data if I want. Currently, I'm not gonna do that. I have way too much. I need to go through here and actually, you know, spot clean this up. But you can see I have 1.2 gigabytes of data here. Now, if I wanted to actually come back in Safari and clear his, history and website data, I can also do that here. So I can clear the last hour, today, today, and yesterday and all history. So if I click clear history for the last hour, it's gonna do just that. Hopefully I didn't lose anything. Just keep in mind that when you go to a website and you expect it to remember like who you are, clearing that is going to, you know, you're gonna have to input your information again, which can be annoying. But if your phone is running slow, that might be even more annoying. Now, you can do that for a lot of these apps, right? Like I just went through Safari, but you can clear the cache for TikTok, you can clear the cache for Twitter, um, Facebook, Google Chrome, right? And uh, we don't have a video for this now, but once they're made, check the description of this video because I'll go through how to clear the cache on all of those uh, and get that added here. Now, if none of that worked, right, we can force a restart on the phone, which might help clear out um, some of this mess that may be slowing down your phone. I mean, if your phone is like mine, I have the iPhone 15, we're just gonna grab these two buttons, the volume up and the side action, is that the action button? Well, the side button. Press and hold. And then from here, we'll slide it to power off. And once that is run, of course, we'll turn it back on. And, you know, hopefully that helps clear some of that, that buildup that may be lurking uh, inside your phone. Um, now, if you've recently deleted a bunch of pictures, our pictures in the iPhone are stored for about 
30 days before they're actually deleted. So you could go to that folder in your uh, photos album and actually delete it ahead of time. That's going to help you clear up some space. Uh, I don't recommend this because it could mess up, right? But we can restore, we can back up our phone to iCloud and then reset and restore the entire phone and then re-download everything from iCloud. Now, again, that is, if, if you need to do that, go for it. I don't recommend it. Hopefully we can find something else to help speed up your phone. Um, and it could be that Apple is just throttling you. I mean, we've all read the stories about Apple, you know, taking our phones and making them slower to make us buy the newest model. So that could be the issue as well. Guys, that's all I have for today. I hope this was helpful. I hope that your phone is now running a bit faster than it was before. And if it is, if you could comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.